confused though what's that what's that what's yes. this ah! that was the weirdest thing because the truck that just pulled up right it just said budget on it and it was supposed to be a FedEx truck because FedEx was delivering this but the lady had a FedEx shirt on that says FedEx on the box hope this is not a Chinese knockoff like that fucking budget truck outside wait what this is the post hold on Knock off shit. Did you get the juiced board? This is the, it's supposed to look like this. Everyone's booster board looks exactly like that. That's how the fucking box is supposed to look like. What is this? Maybe it's inside of, no, it's definitely not. Yes. Yeah, oh, it's is. double box. I knew it. Plus. <laughs> wow. Is it mirrors is smaller? Yeah, it's definitely smaller. What the fuck? Dude, this is so smaller. Yeah. Am I tripping balls right now? This is literally a small board. I'm riding the other one. Is this shit smaller? <laughs> no, it's the same size. I don't know, I think mine just gets bigger over time because it's like around me and shit, kind of like you're the company you keep kind of thing. Shit appears to be the same size. Because look at this. You got some kind of grayish grip tape with some sloppy wheels and you have this nice, beautiful charcoal black with these bright orange sticky wheels. Wow, just look at that. Just feel the traction on this. Oh my god. We're gonna charge these up and we're gonna go for our maiden voyage. Alright, let's see which one's faster. Ew. Oh, that was so much more alpha! Is this sport mode? Wait, one, two, three, four. Ah. That's sport mode. What do we do? What do we do? Let's thumb rustle for the good one. Alright, so. I have some weird intuition that this board's faster, so we're gonna do a test. First time ever riding this board, I'm gonna go up and down the street, then I'm gonna test this old piece of shit and see if it's on par. I just ate so much. I don't eat. Wait, how does it look? It looks pretty bad. Are you serious? It doesn't look good. Fuck. All right, you gotta take a picture of it so I can see in a second. But no, I was going right. I was ripping it, and then I wasn't paying attention, and then I got my board in the grass, and pretty much like, oh shit, I'm in the grass. Then I got on the sidewalk, and like, oh shit, this is a booster board. It's not an armor skateboard. Some shit happened. I basically I fell and I ate so much shit. Oh, it's the first time ever falling on my board. Yeah, turn around again. All right, so my adrenaline's still up, so I can't really feel exactly where all my injuries are, but look at this, right? Everything seems completely fine, right? But if we pull this down, we literally have a bullet hole. And just look at this. What's even more fucked up is my Calvins have been shot. They've been shot. Yeah, we gotta go to the CK yeah, out there. Go but you know, what's, you know what's hilarious though? Just look, see how like the Gymshark pants are just literally, do you see like, would you see a scratch? No, they're good. Do you, do you even see a scratch? And literally hole. Bullet hole. Oh. Lay on the grass. All right, yeah, so Jenna just came back with, um, what's that shit called, peroxide? Yeah. Ooh, is this shit gonna hurt? No. <laughs> it's not even turning white, you're good. <laughs> oh! Oh, fuck, dude, that, ah! hold, hold up, let me get your, uh, ah! stay still. Oh, ew. Dude, if it turns white, is that bad? Nah, it's just infected. With what? Uh, oh. Put, put your wrist up. 
See, it's not white. Yeah, this is fucking white. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. All right. I didn't think that was going to hurt because, like, I had, like, alcohol poured on wounds or whatever. So I was like, yeah, I mean, it's a big stinging feeling. It's no big deal, though. There's fucking worse things out there. So it's pouring. I'm like, yeah, I could take it and stuff. And literally, 10 seconds in, it's just so bad. It's literally it's all these little pinches all over your body. Oh, oh, shit. All right, he had the balls. He swept across. I got to wait. in a mesh wrist so many rock them diamonds on me dancing when you working hard then your money start expanding i got model bitches want to lick me like some candy and them drugs come in handy last night savage bitch but no i'm not brand all right so no, we made it large. that's it in that color are you serious I think so. all right so the cleanest ones wait let me show them these are the cleanest Calvins known to man, and I don't have them yet, and I need these in the size medium immediately. Dude, could I wear a large or like? You could what, what do you wear? Medium. All right, so I pretty much came to the store exclusively to get these, because I saw Jenna had them. I need them immediately, but they don't have my size. So I'm gonna have to settle for white, yellow, yellow. Calvin shit, and we're gonna go back. When Jonas Booster Boy dies, right, he turns on regenerative braking. He's braking as I'm thrusting full speed, and that's pretty much giving him power. We tested it out earlier today when I went to my fall, and this shit actually worked because he was throttling full speed in sport mode, going like zero miles per hour. But I guarantee you now, as soon as like I let go, we're about to make this turn. Woo, he's gonna be flying. Woohoo! What'd I tell you? Oh, shit. These are clean. Micro X used to be like the thing. That was the pinnacle. Yo, the funny story, right? Where we're actually parked right now, it's literally to the side of a restaurant that I used to work at ever since I was like a little kid. I was like a busboy when I was younger. And no, I, when I, I thought, maybe fifth, sixth, seventh grade is like right around when I started working. I would be like a busboy slash magician and I would like work from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. and I would make like 30, 40 bucks a day, right? And you guys saw us, we boosted board at the Calvin store. I would walk there after work every single day, spend every penny that I had, milking as much cash as I could to buy all the Calvins that I, you guys see on my Instagram that I had like ever since I was younger, right? All those Calvins I bought when I was younger. Every single dollar I worked for, I spent on Calvin. Ooh. All right, so where we're gonna go right now is pretty much a store called Marshalls. Like, is Marshalls like a local thing or like that's kind of everyone knows everyone about knows about that. all right we're going to marshall's right from your, from the u.s you know what marshall's is and they according to jonah have a lot of calvin just lying around there with very very small price tags and we're gonna cop some stop by the house really quick leave the boards put them on charge grab a super high calorie muffin and marshall's i just remember the last time i got a bunch of calvin's it was here but where are they? Bullshit. No, no, no. Just look for your small waist size. <laughs> now let's find the right waistband first. Wow, they're white clean. Holy Fuck. shit. <laughs> what size? Large. Alright guys, so today I had squats and I switched to low bar recently. I may have said this in a, a few previous videos and I really, really want to work on my low bar and really develop that a lot. But today, obviously, I couldn't do low bar because the way that my back snapped off from my skateboarding injury is all my scabs are directly where I would place the bar for my low bar squat. So today, I had to make an exception and go high bar. And surprisingly, high bar actually felt really, really, really good today. And if you look at some of my old videos, some of my old squats, you'll notice that when I squat high bar or even low bar, I have a decently upright torso and just a ridiculous amount of knee extension, right? And that's really not optimal for what I want to do as of right now because squatting like that you're using so much quads 
and you're really robbing yourself of your posterior chain uh, engagement and development. So the way that I went about fixing that issue is pretty much decreasing the moment arm between my knees and the bar and increasing the moment arm between my hips and the bar. And basically what that means is I have a much less knee travel. So if you see right there, see how the knees are hardly going forward and I'm really breaking at the hips in my squat and just really activating my entire posterior chain, glutes, hamstrings, erectors. And when you increase the moment arm between the hips and the bar, you have so much more of a powerful leverage because think about it, your erectors, your glutes, your hamstrings could produce so much more of a force than like, let's say just your quads because when your moment arm between your knees and the bar is a lot bigger than the one between your hips and the bar, like you're making it a very quad dominant movement and yeah, that could help develop your quads but for me, that's not really what I need because my quads are way disproportionately overdeveloped compared to the rest of my body. So yeah, here you see I was doing 275 for a few sets of six, and it actually it felt pretty good. And um, I'm actually doing this voiceover a few days after this actual workout happened, and I think one or two days after this, I did uh, I managed to do 315 for some sets of five, and I'm slowly, slowly working my way back up. And beltless, of course, as you see, and just I gotta say, it feels really, really, really good. And my back's actually feeling a lot better now. I don't have that pain that I was nagging and complaining about recently so yeah things are going pretty well on the squat deadlift right I said in the past I have a wider stance my hands are wider and just oh here's the gimbal kind of snapping up and yeah deadlifts feel pretty good I believe this is what, 335 this is 350 and I just did 350 for um three sets of five actually one of the sets wasn't filmed because either the gimbal battery died or the camera battery died something like that but yeah deadlifts are feeling really 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 good as well and I'm noticing from um, all this beltless work, just having, I just feel like my glutes, hamstrings, back, like I said before, my entire posture chain just being so much more developed, like everything feels really good. I should have been uh, training beltless, I should have started training beltless like quite a while ago. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much, that's a wrap for this video. I had a pretty good session and my scabs are almost healed as I'm recording this voiceover right now. And yeah, plenty of content coming soon. If you guys have any questions or any video idea suggestions, just leave them down in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.